Hey everybody, it's Dennis Blair with Core Fitness and Nutrition again, Northern Colorado's in-home personal training. Uh, so today I decided I was going to talk about gyms. Now, if you watch the other two videos, you know that I worked at a gym. Um, when we first moved here in 2006, you know, no clients, no contacts, whatever. And so I had to, you know, build up some clientele. I had to make some money, basically, um, since we took a huge risk to move from Denver up here. Um, so... Anyway, that's what I did. I applied at a local gym. Never trained in a gym in my life. You know, I had the business in Denver and I had my own clients, so the whole gym experience was new to me. Um, so at this gym, it, how do I explain it? Um, and I can't compare it to other gyms because I have no idea what's going on there. But they were under the guidance, I guess, of a business owner who didn't really care if the personal trainers made money or not. Um, in most gyms, when you're a personal trainer, whatever you sell with personal training, you're keeping between 60 to 70% of the, uh, the cost of what the client pays. And so it's not really a big money maker to the gym ownership. You know, they're getting 30 to 40% tops on the personal training fees. And so at this particular gym, you know, if you were busy, then yeah, you were making a lot of money, but the gym wasn't making a lot of money, and they didn't really care if the personal trainers were busy or not. Where the main money comes with the gyms is the memberships, obviously. Typically, when you sign for a membership, you know, you're know you going to have to put money down and make a commitment for a year. And so that's where the gym ownership focused most of their resources. If the personal trainers, you know, got clients, well, great, it adds a little bit to the bottom line, but it wasn't a big money maker. So, I was at this gym for, uh, let's see, I started in 2006, August of 2006, I believe, and I finally kind of left, I guess, in January of 2009. Um, we were all employees of the gym, but in 2009, I convinced management to make us independent contractors, and at the time, um, I actually made more money by making us independent contractors. Um, we were now charged a fee to use the facilities and we didn't have to give them a percentage anymore of what we made. So I think I, it's like 250 bucks a month or something like that. And I could charge the clients whatever I wanted. And my income increased exponentially. I, I still can't believe that ownership of that gym um, agree to that. But anyway, gyms. As you know, especially here in Fort Collins, there are so many gyms here. You got the big gyms, you know what those names are. You know, there's ones with multiple locations. Um, there's a national chain here now. And also you got these little small boutique gyms around town. Um, and so when I left that gym, that's why I said, you know, I was like to myself, there's nobody offering in-home personal training. You know, if somebody wants a personal trainer, why do they have to go to a gym to hire a personal trainer in order to get in shape? And so it's like, this is a no-brainer. I can travel and my trainers can travel to these clients and work them out in their homes. And it was tremendous that nobody else had thought of this idea in Northern Colorado yet. And so in 2009, you know, I took all my clients out of that gym. We went to the park. We didn't need a gym anymore. And they loved it. We were out of that, you know, sweaty, you know, crowded, um, overpriced gym. And we're outside in the fresh air, still doing our routines and loving it. And so with that, it was like, okay, this is what we need to do. So I had all those clients from the gym who came with me. I think it was about 20 I took out of that gym. Um, and then started marketing to everybody else in Northern Colorado. Now, if you like the gym atmosphere, that's fantastic. You know, gyms are there for people who need it. And, you know, they got the group fitness classes, they've got, uh, well, childcare, I guess. Um, uh, you know, they got all the weight machines, and I'll do another future video about weight machines. Uh, they're a huge waste of time, and they're kind of dangerous sometimes. Um, so yeah, if that's something that you need, you need that group atmosphere, go join a gym. It's, it's fine, you know. I'm after those people who don't want to join a gym, but still want to get in the best shape of their life. And now this is the resource for them to do that. You're going to get our professional guidance. We're going to show you, you know, what you need to be doing. We're going to look at your nutrition. We're going to do all of that 
And like I said in previous videos, you're going to get the results guaranteed or I am going to give you your money back. So I think that's about it. You know, like I said, gyms, great. If you want to join a gym, if you need that atmosphere, go join a gym. But if you want an alternative where you don't want to join a gym, but you still want to get in shape and be healthy, this is what we're here for. So once again, down here, fourcollinsfitnesscoach.com. Check it out. We've got a ton of testimonials on there, a lot of information on what we provide. And if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Uh, you can shoot me an email through the contact button, or you can email me at dennis at fortcollinsfitnesscoach.com. All right, this is Dennis Blair with Core Fitness and Nutrition, Northern Colorado's in-home personal training, and we will talk to you soon.